Hi everybody, this is Rita with Bloom Stitch. I hope you are having a good day. I am doing this one-handed again. Um, just wanted to pop in and uh, just um, give you a little heads up of what's going on here. I have just uh, packaged up a bunch of orders. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, they will be going out today. And what you see here, <laughs> what I'm trying to show you here in slow motion is uh, I just put together another um, Attic Treasures supply kit. So this will not be going in a box most likely. The previous ones were in a box, but this is um, not gonna go in a box, but maybe it will, I'm not sure yet. But this is what um, this looks like, this Attic Treasures supply kit. There's one of these. Everything here is vintage or antique. So there are no pr reproductions, um, original magazine pages. This is a beautiful crocheted, uh, part of a crocheted collar. This is a huge picture here, three ladies with, uh, it's an archery club, I think. It says something on the back here. Oh, I take that back. This card right here is, 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 a, is a new card, but I believe everything else is original. Beautiful handwriting on this envelope from 1924, I think. Uh, I have a letter here somewhere from 1911. Uh, there's an original check from uh, 19, that's 1951. German book page. Oh, this is also a reproduction Sears catalog page. I apologize. These are original photos, beautiful, beautiful purse vintage purse with this pretty embroidery on there. I think that it is embroidery and beautiful detail, the metal detail. Um, these, all, the, these are threads from the Merrick Thread Company. This is an original box. It's pretty, pretty beat up, missing part of it, but it has a beautiful art, has beautiful artwork on it. It's just gorgeous, I think. And little crochet piece, beautiful little hanky, check. And just some other goodies that are included in here for you to use. So other than this, let me, let me cover this up so I don't mess it up too much. Other than this, I have not been making very much stuff, but I do have a few things uh, to show you. This is a journal cover created on a vintage file folder that's the inside pretty rough as far as I didn't do anything on the inside I like the color actually this is a vintage file folder so that's the back heavily coffee dyed fabric everything is coffee dyed here this um, beautiful arrangement that I created this is from a wedding dress uh, and all kinds of beautiful uh, fabrics and laces layered on here this says cherish and it's all coffee dyed like i said for that beautiful vintage uh, patina so basically what you can do is you can sew your own pages in here or attach them with the three hole um, book binding or just use this as a folder or you can display this um, whatever you want to do with it but I think it would make a pretty journal cover. I mean, a pretty journal. I included a pack of vintage book pages. You can use these as actual, if you fold them, as actual pages as part of your journal. These are have beautiful uh, colors on them, patina on them. And then this is a 25 pack, 25 piece ephemera pack that I have here that, uh, is also included for you to use. You can make tags with it, whatever you wish to make with it. So this is a journal cover that's listed in my eBay shop. And I only have this one made right now. I think I'm gonna make, uh, this is part of one. I think I'm gonna make this into a journal cover just like that one uh, with this beautiful lady. So this is what the back looks like. This is part of a uh, um, file folder. So 
that will be on the cover. This, this whole arrangement that I have created here will be part of the cover. And then I'm also planning to make some sets of um, blank journals with envelopes, all very grungy, very grungy. This is an envelope, really fluffy material. It's actually the same material, the Chanel that you see here, the Chanel, and I coffee dyed it. So that's what it looks like, coffee dyed. Okay, this white, white pillowcase, I coffee dyed it and made it into an envelope. It feels so soft, so cute. So that's that will be it will be an envelope it will be a blank journal this is from a magazine i love that so this is um this will be the on the cover of the journal and then the third piece in the set will be like something like this this is not don't look at this as a complete arrangement yet because i'm not sure if these three will be going together but each will have an envelope a blank journal with only the cover decorated and then a 12 inch snippet lace and fabric snippet very grungy very grungy so i have this one and this one i think i'm gonna have two sets of this this is also um i have already made it that's how i do it the covers i make a lot of the th I, I make covers different ways but this is one where i just basically collage on the back of a like a file folder and uh, sew it together i glue and sew so it's it's pretty pretty strong it's like fabric tac type glue and then this is my uh snippet that's sewn together one of the snippets there's another one and here's another one very grungy so there will be two sets of these when i get to them um just watch out for the listings in my ebay shop you can subscribe by clicking the little heart button on the top of my ebay shop that says save this seller and then the last thing i want to show you is i haven't made a journal in a while a full journal a full journal that's very embellished so that's what this is gonna be this cutie oh my goodness she is precious and here behind this beautiful little piece of collar is a little teddy bear her teddy bear anyway this piece right here that you see this piece is so delicate it's i think it's antique it is a beautiful piece of a collar a lace collar that i included here oh it's gorgeous so this is going to be when i get to it a journal falling values journal <laughs> these will be the pages in it that i'll embellish it's not even sewed in here yet it's this is on a big envelope that has a, a backing of inside it that i put inside a uh, file folder inside it so it will be pretty sturdy so yeah this will be fully embellished when i get to it you know i could be making this today or could be next week not sure again just watch my my uh ebay shop and that's all i have but my mind works in mysterious ways so i might be creating other sets and other items that i do not have a time to do a video about so please do watch my uh, listings and thank you so much everybody for your support so this is the attic supply kit that is listed thank you so much and peace out